In this video, I will be talking about rounding decimals to the nearest whole number and tenth. So let's take for example we have a decimal number 128 and 58 hundredths and we are tasked to round to the nearest whole number. So if you say whole number, it means the ones place. And whenever we round off a number, we always look at the number at the right, which is this. And in this place, if it's 5 or, or above, then we are going to round up. And if it's below 5, then we are going to round down or retain. And so, since it's 5, then we are going to round up to 129. Another example, 185 and 39 hundredths. So we are tasked to round to the nearest whole number. So it's either we round up to 186 or we just retain or round down to 185. So since the number at the right of the ones place, which is the 3, is below 5, then we have to retain it or we just round down. So let's have another example. 669 and 72 hundredths. So we are tasked to round this to the nearest whole number. So it's either it will go up to 670 or just retain to 669. And so since the number at the right of the ones place is 7, so since it's more than 5, that means we are going to round up to 670. Now how about this? 109.04. So we're tasked to round this to the nearest tenth. So here's the tenths, tenths place. And we are going to round this off. So we're going to look at the hundredths place because it is at the right side of the tenths place. So if it's uh, going up, it becomes 109.1. Or if it's retained, it's going to be 109. So since the hundredths place is only 4, it's below 5, that means we are going to round down, or meaning we retain to 109.0, or just simply 109. Another example, we have 492 and 55 hundredths. So we'll round this to the nearest tenth. So yeah, it's either it will go up to... 492.6 or retain to 492.5 so since at the right side of the tens place is 5 then we are going to round up to 492.6 another example 248 and 99 hundredths and we are tasked to round this to the nearest tenth so it's either it will go up to 249 or it will go down or just retain to 248. So since the right side of the tens place is 9, then we are going to round up to 249. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.